The 1980s and 1990s were a great time to look back for the older and newer generations. Some TV shows and ads are iconic today. And today we'll be talking about the history of ALF and the TV show Dinosaurs. The history of ALF starts with the creation of Paul Fusco and Tom Patchett. The adventures of ALF started on NBC in 1986 and ran until the end of the 1990s. Throughout the show's five-year run, ALF developed from a lonely alien into an integral part of the Tanner family, becoming a beloved figure to viewers around the globe. His popularity even spawned a feature-length films and TV series. The first was Project ALF, 1996 which dealt with the escape of Alf from government custody and his eventual return to the Tanner home. Uniform's okay, but that dog suit's the worst. Permission to bite the bouncer, sir. <laughs> sir, Alf is a menace to society and ought to be incinerated. Don't you mean incarcerated, sir? No. Once people know Alf exists, he'll be safe. You want to go public with Alf? And let's not forget the merchandising possibilities. Do you really want to see Alf dolls in all the toy stores? As long as they're plush. I don't render well in vinyl. Miguel Ferrer, William O'Leary, Beverly Archer, John Shuck, Ed Begley Jr., Ray Walston, and Martin Sheen. There's a very thin line between mutilating cows and eating cats. For the record, he never ate the cat. Project Alf. The TV series Alf the Animated Series, 2003, a prequel depicting ALF's life back on his home planet of Melmac before it exploded. No more tabby paw pie for me before bedtime. Since then, ALF has appeared in several comic books, video games, and other media. He even starred in his own syndicated talk show, ALF's Hit Talk Show, which aired for one season in 2004. ALF's legacy continues today with new merchandise continually being released featuring the beloved alien. Whether through books, movies, or video games, ALF remains an iconic figure who will never be forgotten. The Dinosaur sitcom first aired in September 1991 and was a major hit from the start. The show followed the adventures of Earl Sinclair, an animatronic dinosaur living in a world much like our own, except populated by dinosaurs. Along with his family, including a wife, Fran, and kids Robbie and Charlene, Earl navigated through prehistoric modern life with humor and a lot of heart. The idea for the Dinosaur sitcom came from former Disney executive Bob Levine, who envisioned a show that could both entertain and educate. He recruited Michael Jacobs, a writer for a show called Taxi, to be the showrunner. The two developed the concept and characters and cast the voice actors and puppeteers. The Dinosaurs sitcom ran for four seasons and featured a total of 65 episodes. Its themes covered everything from gender roles and prejudice to environmentalism, and it won several awards for its innovative narrative style. It also became one of the first family sitcoms to feature a black family as one of its main characters, with Fran Sinclair being played by actress Jessica Walter. The show was also praised for its representation of revived extinct animals and its irreverent take on social and political issues. It has since become a cult hit and is still popular among fans today. In conclusion, Dinosaurs was a groundbreaking series that pushed the boundaries of comedy further than ever before. It not only entertained its audience with jokes, but also brought important social and political issues to light. Its legacy is still felt today, as it continues to be beloved by viewers old and new. Well, this is the end of today's video. Please like and subscribe and share this with your friends and have a fantastic day.